back everyone. My name is Angel Latour. In our last video we took our sketch and transferred it onto the canvas. Today we are going to work with oils on the canvas. In this video we will be working on our background. So let's get ready to paint. Hey everyone, as you can see here we have our rendering from uh, our last video and we're going to use this uh, rendering to bring it into our canvas. This will give me a reference of where the colors are going to go. Before we go into our canvas work, I would just like to point out just a couple of things. Most artists use paint thinner and paint thinner seems to have a strong odor. So what I found out is that you can also buy odorless mineral spirits. It's very good and there's no odor and actually it cleans the brushes perfectly. So what I also do is I take a can and get another can. And in this can I use the pure mineral spirits in here all by itself. I take another jar. I put some more mineral spirits in here. And along with that mineral spirits, what I do also is take some Japan dryer and mix it just a little bit with this. Now I'm going to I'm going to tell you why I do that, okay? Number one, with this one, is to clean the brushes. With this one, is to thin out the paints. The Japan dryer, what it does, it slows down. It, it no, not slows down, but it speeds the process of drying of the oils. Okay. Now, here is my palette. And on my palette, I have white, Payphos blue, black sap green and violet what we're going to do is go into this particular paint thinner which which has a japan dryer so we can thin our paint the first paint that i like i like to do is the white as you can see you can thin out the paint very nicely with the paint thinner this is going to be in the background. Now, this is what we call the magic white. I'm just going along really in one direction with this paint. Take your time and have fun with it. Because that's what it's all about, having fun with painting. Now, if you noticed that you can still see through the white paint and this is the reason why I placed the acrylics first so I can see behind the white paint as to where the trees and the distance is going to go in, a, in our next phase so for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fan brush and a fan brush looks like a fan and this is usually used also for foliages like trees or bushes. So I'm going to dip my brush into the paint thinner that has Japan dryer. Pick up a little blue. Not too much because it's very strong. I'm going to go into the white. Now watch this beautiful magic. We're just doing random strokes here. Don't clutter up your mind by thinking uh, where clouds are going to go. Just let the brush do the work. Okay. I'm going to use the paint thinner to clean the brush out. Once you clean the brush out, we're going to go from side to side to give it that airbrush look. Now it looks like skies. And the clouds are really far in the distance. We're going to we're going to continue with our fan brush and I'm going to be picking up a little bit more of that blue and mix it with the green. Now what we're going to do is we're not going to make it too dark. So we're not going to add a lot of paint to the brush. So when we come here to the background, I'm using the, the long part of the 
fan brush and I'm going to make the tree, the tree trunk. You see that? If I was to do this with a little brush, painting every leaf, I would be here forever. Get some more thinner with the Japan dryer. Continue. And as you come down, it should be coming down in like, like in a mist. We'll go to this side. Add some more trees. And you can imagine what's living in these trees. All kinds of birds, chestnuts. And as you can see, I'm not really pressing a lot on the brush and the paint is not dark. And this is what we call perspective. This is the distance that we want to have in this painting. Because these trees are far away. They are in the background. Once we get to the foreground, the darkers get the, the colors get darker. Now, for in between here, I'm going to use this brush, which is a, a chisel brush. It's a number four. So I'm going to take the same paint thinner with the Japan dryer, go back, and go in between the arbor. Because the arbor is in front of these trees. And we have to make sure that we give the impressionism A foliage back here where the arbor is at. Now, now we're going to go into the next stage real quickly and we're going to take a little bit more of the purple, the violet, green, and blue. Now look at this. It's getting darker. See that? See how this tree is, get, is darker than the one in the background? Because it's closer. This creates an atmosphere that there's air, that there's, it, it, it's not flat, it's, it's coming to life. I'm gonna do it on this side. Now, for the last thing that we're going to do, is we're going to take a little bit of the black, along with the green, mix them together. It's going to make the green a little darker. To make a couple of bushes with this fan brush, right about here in front of the arbor. And as we continue with our video studies, this painting is going to progress and it's going to have depth, it's going to have perspective, it's going to have color and details. So as you can see everyone, the brush did all the work really, okay? Your hand, once you get accustomed to it, it's really easy to make these trees with this fan brush. There's nothing difficult about it, so don't break your head in making every leaf. But in our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to continue with this painting and work on our foreground. Until next time, God bless you.